had an unfortunate event that happened last night. Um, this is actually the first time this has ever happened to me on the farm. We uh, came home from dinner with the family and found a hole on the side of the new coop we just built. When we walked in, we found a massacre all over our property. One of our chickens was found somewhere over here, eaten, half eaten, uh, all eaten from the inside. My baby turkey that I named Pedro was found in the very back of our trailer, um, missing its head and its feet and also half eaten. The one that bothered us the most was our duck, our very first duck that we've had for a year, Lola. She was found in the coop. Now we did clean up most of the mess, but FYI, I'm about to show you what is left. Nothing, nothing too gruesome, but just to all the farmers out there, I'm sure you've all had to suffer this at least once or twice. This is where we found Lola. Eaten from the inside. And half of her head was gone. She put up a fight for sure. Now what we assume is that something got in. Now we don't think it was something too big or too small. Um, it was the weakest part of our coop that we had and it was maybe about a foot or two that the fence was pushed in from the bottom and whatever got in got a hold of my duck, my turkey, and one of my chickens, Mini, which they uh, happened to be my favorite ones. We did have one survivor, Goldie which we found in the nesting area hiding right there in the corner she survived she had no injuries but you can tell she was shaken now what got a hold of them we don't know but what we have learned is to reinforce our coop so we ordered some thicker wire that's meant for goats that we're going to wrap around our chicken coop and then place some rocks or pellets and make some sort of a pellet fence around it because whatever got in pushed through our chicken wire on the very corner back side of our uh, chicken coop pushed in the chicken wire and ate whatever it could now i just found out that apparently we have badgers here um possums uh, we also have some other farm um you know dogs that don't belong to us so i to be honest i don't think that hole was big enough for a dog um but it, it had to be something like that like again i don't even know what a badger is i just I suppose it was just told right now that that they eat chickens um, we have in the past found um, my mother's chicken coops um, hinges doors that were wrapped with wire that have been looked like someone tried to get in or something tried to get in. Now, last night when we found this little farm massacre, we were getting ready to go to bed and we heard something on the roof of our trailer like walking. We're unsure if what it was, whatever it was, sounded at least a good medium size, like a large possum or or something. Now, I don't think a coyote can get up there, but we do have coyotes. Um, they do sound fairly close because they you can hear them howling all night. Um, but yeah we my my spouse was really in love with her duck and she took this really really hard um so what best thing to do than to go buy more animals uh we did we went and bought 
um, two more little chickens. Uh, we've already had some chicks and we had two little ducklings that we were hoping Lola would raise. Um, so we have to build this coop much stronger to make sure that those chickens and those ducks survive whatever the hell ate our animals. Um, if anybody that you know lives on a farm all their lives can tell me what kind of animal can do that please tell me because I am very new to this country stuff and I don't know what what to to look out for um, now we heard some noise in my little tool area in the back of the trailer and I placed some rather large traps we're about to go open that up to see if we caught anything last night um, I don't know what it is or what was climbing, but like I said, it sounded like a good size. Um, I, I don't know. Let's go see. But first, let me show you how they got in. So, this little corner right here did not have this uh, small piece of wood. I just put it there. It was the weakest part of our chicken coop. Whatever got in pushed that corner in, even though it was nailed to the pallet fence we built. It was big enough to get in there um, and get in. Now, nothing else in our chicken coop, the doors, nothing else was damaged of any kind. Whatever it was, got in through that tiny corner right there and pulled out my turkey and my chicken into the yard because about where that pool is at is where we found one of the chickens and on the other side of that trailer is where we found Pedro and like I said um, that's where we found Lola and to be honest whatever it was I'm sure it was more than one because the animals were all over the place I really, this kind of sucks because, you know, you grow to kind of love your animals. Um, so, uh, I guess this kind of stuff happens. Again, if anybody knows of any animal that can cause that kind of damage but small enough to fit in a tiny little corner over there, let me know so I know what to keep out for. Or if you know there's anything I can uh, put on my property that would keep animals like that away. Um, I usually have my dogs out. But I put them back in their dog shed area. And close their door. Because I was afraid that they would come out and try to get my chickens. Well, they were in there. And so whatever was here, weren't scared of them. Mistake number two that I made one was I should have fixed that corner before leaving anywhere and two was putting my dogs away if I would have left them out maybe they could have chased off whatever was here but uh, this was our first night with our chicken coop um, that we had our animals in so again I'm guessing this happens a lot in the farm life and if anybody knows of any animals that do stuff like that please let me know so I can be vigilant now to go see if I caught anything last night. So this was left open last night when we heard that weird noise on top of the roof. And then we heard some shuffling where I put my uh, tools at. We placed uh, several traps in there and we yet to open it. So we're about to open it to see if we caught anything. I did hear some shuffling around uh, last night after we placed the traps in there. So again, we're about to find out if we caught anything, um, whatever it is, or if we did catch anything, I sure as hell hope it was whatever caused the damage that caused last night. Um, so here we go. Slowly, don't know if there's anything in there. Hold on, hold on. I don't see nothing. So, 
We still have the traps. Nothing caught. Well, that sucks. All right, so we didn't find nothing. I was really hoping that we would. Um, there's another place we've heard some noises other than on top of the roof. Is in this little hinge area. Tow, not hinge, this towing thing. We hear noises in there. Don't know what it is, but I'm going to place a trap in there tonight. Or right before we go to bed. To see if we catch anything. Again, um, I don't know what could climb on top of a um, trailer, but we'll find out. And was that creature that was on top of the trailer the one that caused the damage it did last night? Don't know. But you sure as hell believe that I'm going to Fort Knox the hell out of my coop to make sure it doesn't happen again. So, farm lesson of the, of the day, I guess. So we bought this really strong um, wire fencing. It's about a hundred feet. Boards. And a bunch of bricks. The plan is to reinforce our chicken crew from the outside to make sure we don't have another incident like we had prior. So it looks like it's time to reinforce this bad boy. Meet the new additions. This little guy right here. This one's Charlie. And this little guy right here. With a little stripey. That one's Pablo Escobar. Pablito for short. They're super little. I don't even know what they are, but they're adorable. Hey guys. Say burrito and chalupa. New duckling members. This little cute one is called Magic. I don't know if any of these are females or males. We'll find out when they get bigger. This one is my favorite one. We were told that he was a rooster. He's all black. Little black feet. Little black beak. I named him Batman. This one's mine. Can't wait to see how he looks when he gets bigger. This little guy or girl is named Violin. I didn't name this one. Just chilling. This one, I believe, is the same one as Violin. We haven't named it yet. Little guy or girl. Just chilling. Being cute. This little guy or girl is named Mushroom. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. We got this one maybe about a week or two ago. And then there's another one that looks just like it. I'm about to show you. This one is named Littleton. Looks just like Mushroom. Except it's slightly lighter on the top of his head. Or her head. Alright, this big guy or girl is named Pancho. Had this one for almost a month. It's gotten pretty big. This one looks just like Pancho, but this one is called Pio.
They've already grown most of their like big feathers. This is the biggest one out of all of them. His name is Chippy, or her. Don't know what it is yet. I think it's a female. They'll be heading into the coop in about another week or so. Camera shy.